All right, so we're going to time lapse this part now where the two forms are touching. And we're going to kind of look at it like this. Uh, this needs to be broken up into a uh, new group in this area. So I'm using that shift control and then uh, shift control option. I'm going to be taking and hiding some of these polygons. So first hide all the poly groups that I could and then carefully use shift control alt right there and then take these do the same okay now I have a new group and I can make that new group okay once that's a group um, what I can do now is just mask that off so control click now I can take save it out anytime that you anytime that you're doing some weird really big moves on a mesh you should always save this is a, a really big move so inversing the mask and then going into the move tool just take and drawing a transpose line and in the center red dot I can move that back so there we go easy as that okay so let's fast forward it okay now my whole mission here is to start blending the two forms the, from the front leg to the body part and I'm just doing that by kind of getting in there doing it maybe hiding out the form moving it so I can move that hole around like that and it'll there we go maybe it's poofing out the stomach a little bit for right now probably work with that a lot more in the future all right now these back legs so I did most of the work here on video but making another poly group here so by now you know I've really tailored my poly groups to what my workflow is again the hardest thing is trying to get a single poly hid right there Okay, so now look at how much control I got. I got the ability to hide and destroy any of my forms. So this is a lot of the same thing that I've been doing throughout the whole process is just moving these things out. This time I'm I'm moving things asymmetrically. Uh so I'll put a big bump here and then put a bump here and it'll it'll form an S in this area it's an asymmetrical muscle change uh, where it's it's not symmetrical on both sides of the leg it's only symmetrical on the single side of the leg and if you look at you know most of the human topology on um, on your leg it forms a natural S on your muscles so if you kinda use that to your advantage of making fake topology or fake musculature you can follow that same rule you know for this side it bumps up, for this side it bumps that way. Now that's certainly not true for every part of the body. That's just a good way to make fake muscles, in my opinion. And it looks nice too. So I got as mo best I can for the video. It got kind of long, so what I did is I did a lot of the sculpting here and then I stopped then I'll show you how to like kind of move out an object in one of the next videos but this is still much of the same work that I've been doing before there's no new tools involved here it's all move standard right here I'm fixing the topology up so you can see that the the edge loops are following some weird structure because they got twisted uh, again you know if 
if you keep these edge loops flowing naturally with the body later on you're, you're going to see that it's going to be easier to move or rotate the objects corresponding with the transpose tool so here I got the forms relatively hammered out a little bit where I want them and now I'm just going to go into the standard brush and start really um, addressing you know what these forms look like and what I do is I generally add a bump to one side just like that and I add a bump to the top of the form on the other side and then I take the move tool and take that bump and kind of push it back and forth again just establishing a bump on that side a bump on this side I do that throughout the whole leg and you can see those bumps just a standard brush then jump into the move tool and I blend that up and blend it down blend that up blend it down for that one and you can see that it's already forming some kind of fake musculature in that area and then after a while you blend them totally uh, together uh, but leaving a lot of the form change to be very contrasty that way it produces a nice normal map later on here you can really make that change contrasty so if I back down to a lower level I could kind of move this stuff around in areas that I want it to be fatter rather than use the standard brush this is a great way to really make it contrasty so you can see I'm puffing it up with the move tool and then moving it manually forward and back what I really like to do is again not keep this thing looking straight like a balloon but keeping it look like an S and then this next one I got an S and so they're more dynamic that way you can see already this back form dips right here making a natural S backwards S there I'm really taking that form and pushing them away from each other and then back again here I need to establish that S a little bit better so that's what I'm doing here Looks like the video is tearing, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this video and move to the next.